Happens every single winter. Charities lose volunteers because of holiday breaks. But some things, things like hunger, for example, those never go on break. Today, we go behind the scenes for a look at how Meals on Wheels delivered. Morning. The mission started early. Fort Worth police strategizing. Low fat milk, one breakfast. Mapping out a plan to feed some of their city's most vulnerable residents. We were talking earlier about the desserts. Okay. They counted. One, two, three, four. Six. Packed and delivered food for Meals on Wheels. The organization is short on volunteers, but not clients. Because I'm 92 years old and I'm not able to cook. And today, the Fort Worth Police Department stepped up. Officers like Brandon Morris. Are you Miss Alberta K? Yes, I am. Hey, I'm Officer Morris of Meals on Wheels. And you know, this is a neighborhood that I grew up in a little bit. Meals on Wheels. So it's refreshing to come back and get get a lot of the positive energy from the residents around here. Fort Worth police, like most law enforcement agencies, are trying to strengthen relations with the communities they serve. <laughs> Last week, a viral video made that task even more challenging. But today's encounters... Because I got to go to the doctor Thursday. Okay, okay, we'll and make sure they know that. Okay. ...show another side. It helps me to uh, know more about the police department. Of the men and women tasked with protecting the city and its residents. This is part of why I became a police officer to help people and make people's lives better and easier. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. And by the way, Meals on Wheels representative called Officer Morris a natural, saying that he's welcome to come back at any time.